What's going on guys? It's your boy Adam Westberg back with another video. Oh. And not just any video. It's your boy. You guys already know earlier today we had a special someone, one of my best friends, recording earlier Elden Ring. And we watched a little bit of it when he was live and he uploaded it. Now we are watching the we are doing this video in parts and we have the creator of said channel and the gamer none other than drum roll please brrr, Farron Fox Gaming 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 Hi How's Great it intro. How's it go? Yeah, I've been switching up my my intro. Um, good. Um, uh, so what, what made you come back to YouTube? Uh, the fact that I wasn't doing anything on Twitch. Wish I have a Twitch channel. Okay. Uh, which is not doing very well because I don't upload. Link will be in the description to Farron Fox Gaming's YouTube channel. Also, what made you... In your mind, what made you pick Elden Ring to come back on? Um, I mean, because everybody's playing it. I honestly, uh, I was hype about it at first, and then as people started playing it, and I couldn't play it, I just started getting biased against it because I was like, "Oh yeah, you know, yeah, y'all get to play Elden Ring and beat all the bosses or something, and I'm over here still playing Dark Souls Three. <laughs> okay, cool, whatever. And, um, and they're supposed to be releasing. Kind of frustrating, but once it started, I mean, I, I'm still getting used to the, the mechanics and stuff. Uh, it's pretty difficult, honestly. Uh, even yeah. for the starting area. It's, I mean, the tutorial got past the tutorial pretty easily, but getting to the actual open world was ridiculous. Like, crazy nuts. Tell us about the first boss. We talking first optional boss or first like that one? Uh, I don't know if you watch uh, Markiplier, right? Shout out to Mark Markiplier when when he You're played that. Mar Morgan, right? Markiplier. No, I'm talking about the boss. The no, but have you watched Markiplier play the game? Yeah, and he tried to he tried to defeat the uh, tree sentinel. Yeah, the very first boss. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's technically an optional boss. I thought you were talking about the actual like story-based boss, which is Mark at the Oven Fell. I haven't beaten uh, the Tree Sentinel yet. I don't want to. It's just not worth it. Because the weapon he drops is a faith build weapon, faith-based weapon, and I don't require, I don't put any stats into faith and intelligence. I'm not a magic builder. And he is a, he is it. a, don't, correct me if I'm wrong. The optional boss right there is the most pain in the ass motherfucker that you would ever come across, if I am not mistaken. For a starters, yeah. Obviously, many of you guys, people, if you guys have seen Jack, um, uh, Markiplier, pl again, shout out to Markiplier, go subscribe to him. Um, amazing YouTuber. Um, yeah, he's a pain in the ass boss. Uh, so. Tell us about, well, we're already on the first, uh, just on the home screen of the video. Tell us about what made you pick, I mean, we all know you loves like werewolves and wolves and foxes and stuff. What, what made you pick the, uh, your, uh, computer Background. home screen? Uh, well, it's by an artist named Rukas. Um, don't know, you, of the... don't know you Rukas, but shout out to you. She's a furry. She's an anthropomorphic artist. I'm like using the term furry when describing artists. They just, it seems like very derogative. She's more of an anthrop anthropomorphic artist. Um, and this she's one a, I just got. She's a furry anime lover. No, she just draws art, and oh. she writes stories and stuff like that. She's a good. She, she's a good artist. I like her a lot. What's that noise in the background? Uh, people. I thought you lived alone. No. Oh. 
I know you lived in an apartment building, but I thought you had your own. I moved out of that. I've been gone for a long time. Oh. Um. So anything else you want to tell us about the game before we get into this? Uh, if you guys haven't played this yet, uh, there are probably going to be a shit ton of spoilers. So if you don't want to watch this, here's your warning right now. Um, he's going to tell us a few things about the game before we get started in reacting to half of it. Like maybe uh, 20 minutes or so. All right, go ahead. Me? Yes, you. Oh, um... Like, talk about the game itself? Yeah, like... So, Elder Ring is an open-world-based RPG fantasy game. Um, think of it like RP or think of it like Skyrim's open-world mechanics with the combat in Dark Souls. Um, okay, can I say something right there. quick? I'm gonna say something right quick. So, just to let you guys know, we are not actually watching the video currently right now. All we are doing right now is discussing why he's playing this, how he played it, if he's gonna play more of it. And then the first episode of the actual reaction of the video for him playing Elden Elder Ring will be possibly later or tomorrow. So just a heads up right now, if you're here to watch part of the Elden Ring video that he did, it will happen later or tomorrow. Just a heads up. All right, continue. Um, the, the game is just a... Uh open world RPG. Yeah. Um with a lot of things that they throw at you. Yeah. Um, I, I only said um, I only said that because, you know, there are a lot of things that you can talk about and go through and compare to Elden Elder Ring or what's or we're gonna talk about what's better than Elder Elder Ring or similarities to the same franchise games. So that's why this isn't a full reaction video. Yeah. Um all right, continue, and then we'll talk about something else for about Elden Ring. I don't really have anything else to say. About okay. It. Um. So, what are some similarities? Um. Ugh, similarities, sim or er, whatever you say. Um. What are some similarities? Fuck. I think that's how you say it. Forget it. Um. Between Elden Ring and Bloodborne, um, because they're both they both look more medieval than Dark Souls. So, well, Bloodborne is a completely different universe in itself. Right, but they're all the they're all by the same franchise, and they kind of have the, a little bit of the same game mechanics. So what I'm asking is, right. you know, out of... Oh, okay, I guess the only thing I can say is that the combat is a little bit the same and a little bit different because it's fast-paced, but not fast-paced. They're too... Like, I can't... Com I literally cannot compare Bloodborne to Elden Ring because Elden Ring is more like Dark Souls 3 and Skyrim. But not at the same time. Like, it's its own... It's kind of like... That'd be like comparing Hero to... Um... I don't know, like... A, another ninja game. It doesn't make any I, sense. I wouldn't like, say... I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say you would compare them. I'd more say... Would you agree with, like... Dark Souls and Bloodborne had a baby and Elden Ring was born? The best franchise, yeah. the best game ever. Well, I wouldn't say best game oh. ever because a lot of games have a lot of flaws and a lot of bugs and stuff like that. But, you know. It is new, but it's pretty. The only problem that we PC users have is the frame rate. Sometimes the frame rate will drop drastically in some areas, and I'm hoping they'll patch that soon. The main other issue is farming is a bitch in this game. Uh, because the amount of runes that you get, uh, which are the equivalents to like previous in the previous franchise souls and stuff like that, you get runes in this one. So collecting those and uh, it's a lot of repetition. And well, that's there really goes my shit. All right, never mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Um, I I checked uh like a few weeks ago. I checked my uh my my YouTube uh studios app, and it says that I have um more likability for adults than kids. So I was more hoping for this, you know, a few of my videos to be more kid friendly, but you know. You, you you can't you can't I'm not judging you you can't help people for uh you know cursing so um one of the questions that I want to ask is um do you like a lot of people a lot around the internet there a lot of people ask about making like f furry animated type games and if they could make like a bloodborne but furry version would you play it i mean honestly i thought about that the other day um because oh, shit. i have um i have some good ideas about things that i personally write about um that could be uh included in like a game but uh it's all just it's just uh not exactly something to it's not quite uh achievable right now right you know, i don't have the means to you don't have the so, funds you don't have the people you don't have the yeah you don't have the equipment <laughs> right even let alone going to L.A. or something and using a uh, movie studio, it's like it's like five k per hour. So, um, other games, other games, other games. Why did you come back to play? Um. Well, I, I asked you off this off camera, but why did you come back and play Fortnite? Um, like, I know you played a lot of Fortnite in the past, and um, Fortnite always made you pissed off. We could always tell in the, in the games that you played, but um, why exactly? What made you want to change your mind to come back and try it over again because i wanted to see how, how much worse it get or how much worse it got um well if it's sh if, disappointed. well obviously if it's shit if it's kind of shit in the beginning and getting shit towards the more updates i wouldn't necessarily I, I don't mean shit i mean more like you know more buggy more laggy things taken out it's that laughable. that that Huh? It's laughable. Ah. Why? Because it gives kids kids shits and giggles. Uh, no, because it just gets worse with each installment. Hmm. I just played to Little... to teach nerds that I'm back and that I'm pretty okay at the game. Tell us, tell us about that. Um. About 20, I think it was 2019, was it? That the squeaker was in your lobby? In Fortnite? I get a lot of the nowadays. It's nothing new. <laughs> They're just all over, all over the channel and stuff. They're just called squeakers. I'm so frustrated that I'm the only 19-year-old that'll play Elden Ring. I mean, not Elden Ring, uh, Fortnite. Some younger viewers still play Fortnite. And a lot of older viewers still play it, too. Jack Septkai plays it in his spare time, doesn't record it, but plays it in his spare time. He played the network test, I know that. Um... I've I've and I'm also asking some questions from what 
my other channel that got uh, banned uh, of questions that when people knew you and me. Um, just off the top of my head, because I can remember that type of stuff. Not all the time, but I can. Um, they asked... We know that um, Adam was, you know, recording some Minecraft videos for your channel, but would you ever consider playing Minecraft? We would see it. We would like to see it. I'm not. I don't really like Minecraft. It's not that good. I'm not. not that, it's not, I'm not that eager. To, see. Uh, okay. Play. But have you ever played Minecraft? Did you truly give it a chance, though? Yes. I played it on mobile for a while and didn't like it. Okay. Um, okay, it's back... It's boring after... Okay. Repetitive. Yeah, that, that's if you don't have mods and stuff, but... Back to Elden Ring. Back to the mods. Elden Ring. Tell us some things that uh, you like about Elder Elder Ring more than uh, Bloodborne or uh, Dark Souls. Uh, I haven't played Bloodborne all the way, so I can't exactly say. I've watched a lot of it, but I haven't played it myself. Okay, tell us the difference or what you like more between... Um, Elden, Elder Ring, and Dark Souls. Okay, so Dark Souls 3 was the only one that I've consistently played. I tried Dark Souls Remastered, didn't get much. Um, you played a little bit of die of Dark... No, I keep thinking of Dying Light, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, Dark, Dark Souls 2, didn't you? You played like a tiny bit. No. Just not, Dark Souls 3. Not on channel. Not on your channel, but you did play oh, it, Oh, yeah, you? Dark Souls 2, I played a little bit, and I regretted every moment of it. I, I want that hour of my life back. <laughs> uh, we all feel like that sometimes. Um, would you say that the weapons are better in Elden Elder Ring? Elden Ring? Elder Ring? Trying to... Elden. Elden. E L D E N, mm -hmm. Elden Ring. Um, what do you think is the weapons better in there than Dark Souls? What's your what's your uh, take on that? I haven't discovered any of any. I know you can do. I know dual wielding is a bitch in the game. Like it's an absolute monster. But uh, personally, I prefer my good old trusty shield and parrying and backstabs. So, yeah. I haven't got any, like, decent good weapons now, so far. Now, a, a lot of people have said, because uh, I've, I've, I've read a whole bunch of comments um, on other people's channels when they were playing Dark Souls, um, that uh, Dark Souls is a broken piece of shit compared to uh, Elden Ring. Which one? They the, were, the original? I, would, the, I've, I mean, people they, still think that Dark Souls Remastered is still the ultimate game. Oh, no. There, there there, was uh, people just talking shit about all of the Dark Souls. And they, were saying, they, that they, Elden, and they were saying Elden Ring was better. So, wh what's your preference on that? Uh, I don't know. I haven't played through Dark Souls 1 entirely. Okay, I know well. that Dark Souls 3 is a little bit different. It's smaller, and that was the one thing that I needed to get used to. Was the, oh, the thing, fastness. literally, Dark Souls, I've, I've played all three. Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, they're all the exact fucking things, except different bosses and different playgrounds. That's it. Same, most of the time, same weapons, a little bit upgraded, a little bit different, and just... A different skill yeah, level. Franchise for a reason. They're, it's not like they're gonna not bring back something like Great Sword, which they did. 
All right. So what's your what's your thought about uh, Dark Souls Four being released? Hello. Oh, can you hear me? Barely. Uh, now. Uh, you're phasing in and out. Yeah, my freaking controller wanted to mess up. There we go. Um, what what are your thoughts about di uh di dying light? Jesus Christ, Dark Souls Four being released. It's not gonna happen. That sounded right. That's the same thing. No, uh, Dark Dark Souls Four. People are saying it is going to be released next year. It's Elden Ring. In, in, fe in February. No, uh, Eld Elden Ring is a whole different type of series. They're, they finished Dark Souls, all right? That's why Elden Ring came out. They're not going to make another one. Okay, well, other people say different, and there are, you know, sneak peeks of Dark Souls 4. So that's what I'm... I don't know. I haven't heard anything. All right. Um... Out of all the games that you've ever played, what was your most favorite? Off camera and on camera. Again, I'm reading, remembering these from the old channel that I had. I still like Dark Souls 3 the best. And you played that off and on camera, correct? Yeah, I have over 350 hours in it. Jesus Christ. Okay. That's, that's rookie numbers, though, compared to some of other people. Some people have thousands and thousands of hours in it. Alright. They said... Uh, da, da, got it. I'm, like, tapping my forehead for, for like, scrolling Can we just, through... like... Don't, don't worry about the questions. We came here for the video, didn't we? Well, I, I came to ask a lot about, you know... Um, Elden Ring, what you thought about it and whatnot, and then we were going to watch it in another episode but yeah we can we're gonna watch a little bit right now all right guys now we're gonna watch a little bit of elden ring okay this video is now at 22 minutes we're gonna let it go to at least maybe 50 minutes and then uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this hopefully the volume doesn't fuck up again um without further ado let's roll into this anything else you want to say nah Go subscribe to Fair and Fox Gaming. Yo, what is up, guys? Um, it's been a while since I've uh, streamed. Yeah, it's a tiny bit days. faint. Um, <laughs> today, I get worse. Uh, I'll be playing Elden Ring. I mean, I don't think uh, the voice. I mean, for I the intro, that's fine, but you know. Quick. Um, um, I haven't. Oh, by the way, guys, link will be in the description to the full video. Um, so that way you don't have to, if you want to watch the full video and don't want to watch all the reactions of this series, that's up to you. I actually, um, I actually made a personal, like you know. Play like you know, like on you, your YouTube channel, you can make a playlist. It says Fair and Fox, uh, um, Elden Ring on it. So like parts, so like part one, part two, stuff like that. So, um, Would you ever consider uh, editing, just, uh, or are you just one of those type of people who uh, just say fuck editing, upload it for the long game. amount that it was? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm more of a VOD kind of person. Literally, um, editing makes you feel like, like you're Skyrim unhuman, because if you make mistakes, you're a fucking human. Uh, so, no, editing 
think just makes content a little bit more funny in some regards. And I don't have that kind of thing. First area, but, uh, have How does e awesome. editing act? Well, yeah, I mean, editing, you know, makes a little bit comedian effect. Sounds and stuff and it makes it funnier. Oh, well, yeah, but, you know. A lot of people also edit just to, you know, shorten the video, and it's like. Huh? What'd you say? Nothing. Uh, it's the same thing you said. Yeah. How much did this cost you on Steam? Uh, it didn't cost me anything. I'm sure you can buy it. Do you but know? If you wanted to buy it on Steam, it'd be about eighty dollars. You know. For a game like this, for the franchise, I would say that's not a bad price. It could have been over $20. Still, not a bad price for the franchise. Now, if it was, you know, something like $300, that would be like, hold on, what the fuck? You know? Yeah. 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 Always got to make your own skin. <laughs> what name did you pick for your skin? What? Farron the Fox or Farron the Fox? Fox. F-U-C-K or F-O-X? F-O-X, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know whether it's your accent and you're talking way too low, but I swear to God, it sounds like you're saying fair and fucks. <laughs> Guys, I don't need no editing. I make my own fucking comic comedian timing. <laughs> yeah, but more awkward for you makes viewers more laugh. Also, honestly, if I ever made it to a certain amount of uh, subscribers on YouTube and I started getting paid, you realize if I was reacting to your videos, you'd they would be paying you, mm -hmm. which would be making you bank and me too. What? So the rats are terrible in this game. <laughs> are they are they bigger than the ones in um in Bloodborne and Dark Souls or smaller? They're about the same. Uh they're like the size of fucking pit bulls. The size of the fucking length. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if I could ever, like, do, like, a full gameplay of this, I would literally go for, like, five hours for my channel. Wow, I see you going just straight after the fucking bald eagles. Why? <laughs> hunt see, I they should make a game, you know, that's like Elden Ring. And they should make a game that's like, you know, something like this. But yet, where you have to hunt and survive, and you have to, you know, kind of build your own, you know, uh, empire. But yet, you're, you're the king, but you still have to go out and fight, and it still looks like this gameplay.
Ooh. I swear, what's wrong with this franchise and like likes the stabbing in the ass? I mean, honestly. Okay, you just summoned a horse out of nowhere. What the fuck? So how how long until you are uh, with someone? So it's all single player until middle. So you're online current, like you are online currently at this time. So you can do like teams, right? If you're on teams, can you still kill each other? But as far as I know, that makes the bosses a little bit more difficult, but also easier as well, right? But it, but at the same time, it makes it a little bit easier as well. Are you, are you going to be making a uh, single player series? Um, not really. Or a better question, are you going to be making more Elder Ring videos? Yeah. Elder Ring is only for PC and PlayStation 5, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wow, because when I looked it up, it was only for uh, PlayStation 5 and... Okay. By the way, guys, in 2023, yes, you heard me correct, 2023, in February, I will be doing an Xbox giveaway. Letting know now. If you want a chance to enter, all you have to do is subscribe, leave a comment, done, hit the post notification bell, and uh, leave a like. And you can choose between Xbox One or PlayStation 4. And anyone can enter. I'm more emotional towards you. Oh, you got that? Cause he broke his shit. I didn't say you broke. You're not. You're not broke as shit. I said you broke your shit. <laughs> How did you sell your your PlayStation Four without the controllers? Even with the broken controllers. Oh. How fucked up were those controllers? <laughs> uh, 
Like, <laughs> what? Oh, bears. I thought you said dares.
right, guys, we watched a good portion of this. Ep part two will be coming soon. Um, we made it to 17 minutes and 58 seconds into the video. Um, although the recording is 42, 43 minutes and something seconds. Uh, before we end this video off, go subscribe to Fair and Fox Gaming. Link will be in the description. Um, go watch all of his videos. Uh, confirmation if they want to react. Confirmation if they want to react to your videos. Yeah, I, that's fine. Uh, yeah, you can react to his videos. You can react to my videos. Go subscribe to him. Go subscribe to me. Anything you want to say before I end this video off? Nah. All right, guys. Uh, oh, well, there is my Discord if you want to join it. Link will be in my main channel. Is that in the description of uh, the Elden Ring game? Uh, it's just at the top left corner, top right corner of my homepage of my YouTube channel. But if you have a phone, go to About Him. Go to About Him on his YouTube channel, and if you scroll down, you'll see it. Uh, without further ado, guys, that will be it for this, for part one. I will see you guys in, in part two tomorrow. Are you free tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you guys so much. Again, thank you so much for 31 subscribers. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys real soon. Bye.